Darth Vader issue number 16 sprung more traders than we previously had. Now the traders are twice the number and double the fall. For those who haven't catched up yet, in the bid for the frozen body of Han Solo, Darth Vader crashes the party, doesn't let Jabba get him for 1 million credits, including Boku the buff as well, and Slymore is left hanging. While he is waiting for Luke to come by to rescue his friend, Luke instead outsmarts Darth Vader, actually makes him come out from the Vermilion and go and hunt him down just in order to save Leia and the others. Luke gets tangled by some pirates to which Darth Vader comes in and saves the day, actually saves his son, but in fact he goes on to shoot him down immediately afterwards and now Luke is crashed on a icy planet with Darth Vader right behind coming for him. Back to the Vermilion though, Boku was furious with Ochi and Vader. This isn't what we agreed upon. Anochi, says Boku. Vader was supposed to support my bid for Solo. Instead, he's stolen Solo for himself? You told me, says Boku, Vader keeps his word, insinuating that Vader is a liar. If I remember right, says Ochi, all my lord ever promised was that you might get what you deserve. If you ask me, you're getting off pretty easy. How dare... Hold that thought, slug, says Ochi. I've got another loser to attend to right now. Imagine how frustrating is for Boku right now to, for somebody to toy with him like this. He is a gangster. Getting his own way is everything he was ever taught. Now, almost everybody is talking down to him. Jabba, Ochi, Vader. He has had it and he will show this later on in the video. Meanwhile, Slymore is seen with one of the droid clan's crush that was seen in previous Darth Vader issues. Lord Vader, can you hear me? says Slymore. I do not require your assistance, Administrator Moore. Do not worry, Lord Vader, says Moore. I am not helping you. As a swarm of droids falls onto Darth Vader's TIE advance, they had followed him from the Vermilion, working for Sly Moore. Perfect, says the administrator. I knew the droid crush would eventually prove their worth. Ochi jumps at Sly Moore, branding her a traitor. But the droid intervenes. Never, says Sly Moore. Of course, Ochi makes quick work out of the droid, but now is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sly Moore as well a Sith assassin against Administrator Slymore, who is versed in the dark arts herself. You're trying to kill Vader, says Ochi. I serve the Empire, says Moore, which means I serve the Emperor in all things, at all times. You used to understand that. The assassin is left without words. Truly, Vader had skewed his opinion as time went on. I remember back when Ochi was first introduced in those issues, he did truly serve the Emperor. Emperor, but now, I think he is definitively conflicted between Vader and Emperor Palpatine. In a way, he is becoming increasingly more loyal to Vader than anybody else. Back to Luke, he is baffled, he doesn't know what is going on. Who are you? Stop right there. There are droids falling from the TIE Advanced. And as they're falling, they're shooting down at the ground. Now Luke takes out his lightsaber and ignites his yellow blade. I'm warning you, says Vader. Calm down, boy, says the droid. We're here to help as they quickly go on to work together with R2 in order to fix the X-Wing in a shocking turn of events, even Luke is baffled as to what's going on. Vader, though, knows everything, and he is shooting down at the X-Wing, missing luckily, but the explosions are imminent. All fixed. Get him, boy, says one of the droids. Who are you guys, and why are you helping me? We just do what our client tells us, so don't thank us, says the droid. Thank the Empire. As if this comic wasn't weird enough. We had Darth Vader saving Luke from pirates. Then we have the revelation that Ochi is not loyal to Emperor Palpatine anymore. Now we understand that Slime War helps Luke and that he should thank the Empire. This comic could easily be from a different dimension in a bizarro world, kinda. R2 is baffled and Luke already knows this is the craziest thing that has ever happened to him, but whatever it takes to escape the wrath of Darth Vader, as now Luke is fully engaged with the X-Ring flying off, and Ochi has taken action as well. Call them off or you're dead, says Ochi. I thought you said Lord Vader could not be beaten. Oh, they can't beat him, but he wants that rebel. 
Yes, he does. Do you know why, says Slymore? I don't ask about what I don't need to know. He fears the boy, says Slymore, because he knows the boy's true strength. If the Emperor claimed Skywalker, what need would he have of Vader? Oh, an angry Ochi says, you are really dead this time. You still don't understand, says Lamor. Vader cannot kill me without betraying the Empire. You're the one who betrayed the Empire. No, I tested its weakest link and found it lacking. In your fear, you would destroy the Emperor's greatest weapon, but you have failed. Manipulative as she is, Ochi is not falling for it. He says, don't try that mind thing on me. But in the end, Slymore proves to be a much better fighter than Ochi, as she actually stabs him right in the shoulder. Now, in your fear, you will return to your true master, humbled like me, just another servant in his shadow. Ochi is down on his knees, bleeding to death. All of a sudden, they hear a noise. A ship is going after Vader. What? says Slymore. This is Ochi. Do you read? He is trying to contact the ship that is leaving. Just wanted to confirm that it's you, Boku. What's on your mind up there? Oh, says Boku, I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. But as it happens, Ochi knows exactly what the surprise is, and he immediately contacts Lord Vader. This is Ochi. Just a quick report. The Umbaran, says Vader. I know. Kill her. Right, working on that, says Ochi, but the huts are after the Imperial shuttle that's got Solo. As we see, a swarm of hut ships are after Darth Vader's shuttle that is transporting Han Solo. An explosion can be seen in the distance. Luke is worried about Han. My son thinks Vader. I sense your anguish. You still cannot bear the thought of losing your friends. Good. Even Vader notices the explosion. Now you're ready to learn what real fear is. As this concludes issue number 16 that had its ups and downs, but definitely Vader and Luke are closer to a conflict than where we started the series off. We could definitely have another head-to-head -head between Vader and Luke before this series is over and before we see them clashing inside the second Death Star in Return of the Jedi. Before that happens, this series needs to give us a real hint as to what's to come. Guys, what did you think about this full comic issue? And if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.